Exactly, I'm on the road right now, so we're gonna be doing lesson number six from this car. Uh, I wanna talk today about pocket and time. I want to approach some of the ideas about what exactly is feel, what exactly is groove, and tie it all together. Um, this has been a very interesting semester for me because I've been on the road and been having to do with what I have, where I am, when I have it, which is one of my main lessons that I want to impart to any young drummer and any young musician, any young creative out there. Sometimes we don't have the resources that we need, or sometimes we're in a different city, or sometimes we're in a different position than we'd like to be in, but we still have to make magic happen. We still have to show up for our responsibilities. Um, so thank you guys for being with me in North Carolina and in the Caribbean and New York City while I do these lessons. Pocket in time is something that's near and dear to me because it's been a focus of mine. I do find that as a drummer, we're required to have it and that our role is such that we conduct the band and we know the music better than anybody else, which also means that we have to have such solid time feels and such solid groove and solid pocket that we don't have to think about that while we are conducting the band with our drumming cues. Pocket is a combination of your consistency in time, how hard or how light you're hitting, how consistent your sound is, and ultimately the combination of the two of those things creates, it creates how it feels. So when someone addresses your feel, it probably has a, a combination to do with your time and your touch. People oftentimes get confused and think that pocket is just about time or pocket is just about how hard you hit, AKA the touch part. But pocket is a combination of those things. A groove employs all of the things that I just discussed, but a groove has the information that you apply your good time and your good touch to, right? The groove of James Brown's Funky Drummer. That beat right there is the groove. Inside of that, how consistent I am with my touch is part of pocket, and how consistent my time is is part of pocket. That makes it feel a certain way inside of the groove. So really important to understand that we gotta have all that stuff together. We gotta really, really be, we gotta be super clear about how we are approaching these definitions so that we don't get confused. Um, I was introduced to funk music and I was introduced to blues music. I was introduced to jazz and they all have their different pockets. Inside of those pockets in those different genres, there are different grooves or feels. Now, I do wanna say that there isn't one definition for any of these things. There's many interpretations and depending on the region that you come from, someone might use the term feel when they really mean to say groove. Hey man, can you play me that feel? Or man, that, that groove's good, right? Instead of saying that feels good, they're saying that groove's good. So don't be confused with the multitudes of associations with these words. But ultimately they're really, really about getting to show our, our collaborators what we mean when we're playing with them. It's super, super important that we understand the difference. One of the ways that we can enhance our pocket, AKA our time and our touch, 
is by practicing rudiments at the cons- at consistent volume levels. So have, bringing your stick up to the same point and back down every single time for every single stroke over the span of a, a lot of time. And we can do that, right? Measuring our volume and measuring our touch while we go through so while we go through subdivisions of rudiments. So while we go from a single stroke roll to a double stroke roll to a triplet, so on and so forth. And we do that at every tempo. When we do that, we're we're getting a chance to work on consistency with our touch and our tone and our volume as well as our time. And that enables us to have great pocket. When we play with a metronome and we do these exercises, we can play around with, are we playing in the center of the beat, right? So, like this, right? The center of the beat, we can either play here, it's the center,